Hello again, everyone. The journey as our friends of the Lord of the Rims, the Necromancer, the good stuff, whatever it is I'm trying to say, it all continues. We have been ambushed. For once, it's by what looks like an actual credible threat. You know, for, oh, it's a new Mar. Oh, what do we got here? We have a boundless sharpshoot. What does boundless mean? Sales at combat arts, huh? 40% more frequently. Interesting. An arrogant attitude, huh? Oh well. I don't know if we care to recruit them. I think this is going to be another one of those uh, no survivors kind of moments. So let's send the animals off to safety. At some point I am going to have to make a proper wand for Dunsig so he can shoot magic bolts instead of... Uh, That have not magic bolts. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, you're just all going. F That's right. You're all set to search and destroy. But could you uh, not do that just yet? We'll give them a chance. And by that I mean they're all right here. So <laughs> they're all in range to get snowballed. Yeah, how you like them snowballs? I remain feeling questionable about the the efficacy of using this. Man, doesn't Dunsig look like a real boss now with his sweet, uh... There's gotta be something I can do to speed up cooldown. Actually, that that's something our gear does. Ooh, it's enchanted. You're enchanted as well with all these numbers. Uh, aha! Cooldown reduction. All right. This also has cooldown. And Phantom Shift, what the heck does that even mean? Phantom Shift, 20% chance to avoid an attack. I f assume that's built into the lever? Or was it built into this just as it is? Not 100% sure on that one. Oh, nice. Looks like he went down. Gourmand. Why do we have so many xenophobic dwarves? All right, let's get the old Fog of Torment going. There we go, and then we can give him a taste of the old... Let's, uh... Actually, search and destroy... Are you out of arrows? You are. All right, Gain. I'm gonna have you switch to your axe. And by axe, I mean elephant spear. Don't die, guys. <laughs> I don't think we lost anyone. Can we uh, drop a never snowball? I think we can. Beautifully done. Caravan battle one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We lost someone at the battle previously, didn't we? Roran's running. No survivors. You know what? Don't, don't shoot your arrows. That'll be fine. Don't shoot your arrows either. All right, jolly good. So there's a couple of folks here. Uh, let's see. Who would I want to... You know what? If I can revive you and you keep that mining and construction, that would be pretty sweet. Let's let's lift you up. We could go for an even nine, but... I think the old eight is good enough for me. One, 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 and there we go. My good sir, pick up your old axe. Unless there's a better one. Doesn't really look like there's a better one, does it? Really need the food. We don't need a lot of things. No one made it out of that one alive. You have my condolences. Anyway, I want this episode to be all about us continuing to quest. He did keep his construction to a certain degree. And his mining. Alright, so we've got some more miners. And that's honestly... Get more people to do crafting is also pretty good. Be, uh, yeah, something like that. Again, if everything is high priority, nothing's high priority. Important to always remember that. God, Dunsing's a badass. Dunsing? Dunsig. I have to give you a cool name. I don't know, Numenorian or Elvish name. We'll look it up. There's a, uh, there's a whole, like, list of Tolkien-esque names and like name parts and how you can do some uh, sorcery to mix them together in order to get a, a proper name. 
Anyway, moving on. I'll catch up with you when we are back on the road, heading to uh, do some quests. Okay, so we're cutting back in a little earlier than expected. Well, actually, I was hoping to be on the road by now, but one, uh, Randy has apparently seen fit to drop some sweet, sweet materials on us. No Mithril, though. Which doesn't necessarily mean that Mithril can't possibly fall. Actually, you know what, let's, let's dev mode this and find out, <laughs> just to see. Uh, I'll delete it if it turns out it's... If I... No, that's, that's Mithril itself. Is there a Mithril deposit? There is not. Okay, so that's probably the problem right there. You can't have Mithril uh, deposits if... Yeah, there's no item. So I guess all you need to do is add a def for that, which means you'd probably have to create a little graphic. Which couldn't be that hard, could it? I mean, you'd, it'd just be like you take, like, say, this. In fact, all the deposits in this. In fact, would you even need to make a graphic? I'm kind of thinking here, because they seem to be just recolored versions of each other. Which could mean that they're just, uh, like, in the game code, it's like, hey, Jade, tint, you know, object X, this color. Because that's kind of like how the clothes work. They, Their coloring is based on their material. There's also these frumbos to hunt. Uh, we also got a couple of nightlings to spawn on the map, which means, uh, yeah, with with this one, we can hold on there, Dunsig. You're not on the moon yet, buddy. Uh, I don't think Mevicus can craft because she has no intelligence. Can you make a hood? You cannot. Right. But Dunsig can. So he can make the hood to match his, uh, his equipment. No! Not not like this. Though I guess uh, that can be Wanda's. I actually want it, uh... The other kind. It's inspired social, that's great. And a guy who can't, uh... Oh no. Salted arrow fleet meat. I don't really want that. But, okay. Thank you. I guess. Anyway, yeah. It also turns out Lembus really does not stack very well, so that's a bit of a problem. Alright, you know what? We'll just make another one once we're finished here. Not a problem at all. Okay, and there's a Nightling going for revenge. But hopefully Gain can take it out. Time. Hopefully. I think he's got this. Actually, once this hood is made, there won't be enough Arrow Fleet fur left. We're gonna have to find and kill a whole bunch of Arrow Fleets in order to get enough fur to make a full set of armor for Wanda. And by all, uh, armor, I mean robes. My god, a war- a royal Awe has wandered in. It's like a meadow Awe, except it's royal, and also it's green. We'll, we'll spray paint it gold or something to make it look really cool. <laughs> but, uh, ooh, it's got the blur spell. And smoke cloud, interesting. As well as walrus, it's, it's got it's got a lot of stuff to. Wait, wait, wait. Why hunt it when I can tame it? I have wanted to. Uh, I have talked in the past about wanting an awe, haven't I? Now could be our chance. And if it turns on us, we can just kill it. It all works out. Oh, <laughs> none of our handlers can actually handle it. All right, never mind. Just just kill it. Kill it for its resources. I feel kind of guilty, just like I'd kind of feel guilty about killing Frumbos for their fur. Though I've done it before and I'll do it again. But I'll feel bad about it the whole time. Uh, you know, I wish we had a way to grow fur. You know? Or, <laughs> not fur. Or, well, yeah, fur and leather and stuff. You know what? Maybe we need a, a larger farming industry. It looks like it's trying to eat our stuff, but it keeps running away because the Scarecrow is scaring it. Some good work. Gotta love those scarecrows. They're doing... They're doing Randy's work right there. How, uh, how are we doing at recruiting old Fromber here? Or Tomber? You know what, I might call you Tomber instead of Fomber. Tomber? Yeah. Because, I mean... Yeah, Thomas, Tom. There's a little H in there, but no one pronounces the H. Yeah. 
which is handy for me because, of course, uh, we've established in the past that I... Oh, good God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Quick, so, for the love of God, someone save... Uh, someone save the little cactor. Cactlet? Cactlet, is that a... Oh, God, you failed. Oh, God, he's, l <laughs> he's having a heart attack. He's only six years old. Oh, but their life expectancy is six years old. At least you're getting some medical training out of this. And we're finally doing something with our massive, massive stack of... of uh, herbal medicines. Which I really should store somewhere else, shouldn't I? Are we actually at a point where we need to make more arrows? That's crazy. No! <laughs> Well. Well, well, well. Let's bury... Let's bury Dark. He was one of us. He deserves a proper burial. Alongside Stench, who frankly doesn't deserve that spot. That spot of honor at the front of, like, where light and dark meet. Damn, I'm proud of this place. You know what? If I had architectural skills in real life and also just money to burn, I, too, would build a fancy citadel under the hill. So remember that. If I ever get uh, billionaire money somehow, totally got to build something like this. We'll make a whole YouTube series out of it. If I'm ever going to be a billionaire. <laughs> the lie that keeps the plebs in line. Anyway. Wherever we're going with that. It's gonna take a while before we get here. I could always fast forward, and perhaps I should, but you know what? This sounds like something that could lead to fun and hilarity if this always comes after us. It is cut. Okay. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Let's set. Uh, that is the wrong tool. I want to unforbid everything. I mean, these spells in particular are probably going to be handy. I assume those are one off consumables. What if they aren't? And also, wow. You know, we used to have a real shortage on... What, what is this? Wanda's caravan... Why is it always named after Wanda? Why is it never Dunsig's caravan? In fact, even when Dunsig's the one leading it, it's like named after one of the zombies. There's probably a reason for that. Wanda's caravan has been ambushed by six people from the Orem Kingdom. They want my pants and tabard. Tabard. And... I just made that hood. That hood is mine! Oh boy, are we like, what, 15 minutes in? You fools. You foolish fools. And there's only one mage amongst you. It's not even a mage, it's a paladin. Or a paladin. Paladin? You know what, I we've had this talk before, haven't we? Paladin, paladin. I will never stop saying it the way I say it, but uh... Just, just to warn you now, has it come up this this series? I think it was in another series. Might have not even been RimWorld. It might have been RimWorld. Might have been something else. I'm sure someone's corrected me on this before. To which I my response is thank you for uh, you know telling me the right way, but I will never ever say it anything but my way. Why? Mostly stubbornness and pride. You know the usual things. Don't you come after my animals. Did I mention that I named the stag? I was totally planning on butchering it and eating it at some point. But, uh, that plan has changed. Oh yeah, I should just get one to shoot off. Why are we even walking in the, in the river? It doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, get wrecked, Sunny Jib. Oh. Baby. You know, it doesn't do the most damage in the world. But it does kind of get us. It gets us somewhere, doesn't it? And I guess that's what matters the most. They're going after my animals. Those absolute monsters. Though I did kind of bring this on myself, didn't I? Alright. Flee, my pretties, flee. 
Is one of you still missing a leg? Might be a thing. Don't you kill my animals. Run, Elnor, run! Stupid snowball taking a hundred million years to... to come off cooldown. Alright, kill the Paladin first. Paladin. You and your wings don't scare me. Oh yeah, Dunsig, you should probably unleash a Fog of Torment. If it brings down a Muffalo or two, you monsters. That's right. Let's also go ahead and turn on Search and Destroy, shall we? Oh my god, is this Paladin actually going to... No, we're cutting off their fingers. We're, we're gonna be cool. We took out the Paladin. And also an Archer. Was the Archer? No, the Archer wasn't one of ours. That's right. You fools. You foolish fools. You dare attack the Lich King and also hurt poor Heracles? Needs very little sleep. How dare you? If we catch you, you're dead. You, No one messes with Heracles and lives to tell the tale. Get snowballed, son. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> you're... It, it keeps taking pinkies off. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I think we can save points. I also think this may have been mentioned. But I can save points, I think. Wait. Was, was this always a thing? I don't remember Frost Ray. Is it because we've leveled up, we've learned a new spell? Or did I read a book? I didn't read a book at any point. Not that I remember. Anyway, I think if I, uh, if I read those little scrolls, I can learn these spells without having to spend points. So, with that in mind, let us choose not to spend points. I don't really want any of their equipment, do I? Anyway, we're just gonna follow... Follow, uh, these guys. You know what? They might actually get away. But they will tell the tale. Well, this guy is going to bleed to death in 23 hours. And they are... What the heck is the kingdom they even came from? <laughs> They're nowhere close to home. Oh, here's those, here's those guys. Oh, yeah, they're, no, they're not making it home at all. <laughs> you fools. There's the Ever Kingdom under the mountain. When we're going to kill Lane. You know what? How many people does it take to deliver a message? Just one. Okay, so we're back. And you know what I was saying about needing a lot more <laughs> arrow fleets? Apparently a colossal, al a colossal arrow fleet or at least a pack of them has shown up. 60 lever. So, and how much do these things produce? 15. So 15 by 17, that's more than 150. And then you got 60 from these, so that's another 180. Uh, it's, it's not quite enough to make a full ice uniform for Wanda over here. But it will you know, move us in the right direction. Also, we've got this uh, mech uh, cluster quest, which I don't think I'm going to accept until... I mean, I'm not even sure what's going to happen. Are mechanoids even going to actually spawn? Because we do have our tech limiting on, to my best of my knowledge, anyway. Anyway, this whole thing was supposed to be about monster, uh, monster hunting. So let me, again, fast forward. Just wanted to, you know, make sure we were all updated on what's happening. You know what? This couldn't be better. If we blow them up in the river, then we're safe. Alrighty then, looks like we arrived. And also just in time to mention that apparently some cows came to join us. So at least we have an infinite source of fur and milk. So huzzah. Alright, so what what is this? This is this is the chort, isn't it? Mr. Chort? There you are. Uh, much higher rewards. If surrounded by enemies, they often use their third eye to throw an enemy into a berserk rage. Now, this is one of those situations where you gotta wonder how, uh, how mods are gonna interact with each other. Because zombies have no mind of their own, and thus, logically, would not turn into a, a rage. Okay, this buddy's coming right at us. Okay. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Got six of them, which is enough to surround them. Plus, we've got two magic users. 
Let's uh, make sure the animals stay out of the way. Now, I know for a fact that uh, the mod uh, creator of uh, these Witcher Monster Hunter things mentioned something to the effect of, like, these monsters are no joke. Take drug. I'm not going to take a drug anytime soon. I wonder if I could take advantage of this neuro heap dump in some way. <laughs> Get wrecked, Sunny Jibby ran away. Like a little coward. Alright, let's uh Let's get things going here, shall we? And try to circle the mage users around in an intelligent fashion. You didn't cast your spell yet. Fog of torment. That's right. You can't turn us you can't turn the mindless undead against one another. You fool. You foolish fool. How- how- oh god. Stig's- oh jeez. Lost his nose. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> oh. I'll keep fire at will on. I think we're gonna lose someone. But then we could raise the short. No- oh, and there goes Erica again. Poor Erica. Your zombie ear was- are we actually doing more damage to our own people? This short is not taking as much damage as I would like it to be taking. Oh, there goes someone else. Oh wait, what am I thinking? I can just, uh, I can just raise them from the dead again. Okay, Wanda's gone berserk. Fortunately, she's running away to fight, uh, that rabbit. This, this is looking pretty bad for... Are, are you shooting at Wanda, you idiot? All right, we've lost two people so far. Okay, drop another fog of torment on this fool. All right, we're we're getting them. Inspiration, good job. You know, as long as Wanda stays distracted by. Did we lose an, uh, another person? There we go. These guys are healing. Those guys are going down. He's been incapacitated. The gaslight wins again. Quick, everyone run away from Wanda. Yeah, we, we, we didn't lose too many people here. And the short is going to bleed to death. But what if I tamed it? No, I'm pretty sure you can't tame these things. You can tame these things. I didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, this uh, took ever so slightly longer to pull off than I was expecting. You know what? If she just if she chases them, I, I'm glad that in a berserk state she apparently cannot. Or okay, you know what? If you want to attack, uh... okay, we have risen. Please, please don't attack, Wanda. She knows not what she does. Just grab your axe and be happy. But what is over here? Agave fruit. Agave fruit. The heck were we, uh, walking around? Unusable with walking axe. Well then why are you carrying a shield, you silly? How long is this rage gonna last? The torment... The pain might knock her out. I'm gonna do something to heal that poor scratch scar she's got. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> Payment has arrived. The beast died, she passed out. What do you got for us? 